After transitioning to virtual learning since March 2020, the CSU and UC University systems hope to welcome students, faculty, and staff back to campus beginning in the fall 2021 semester. However, this can only happen if everyone who hopes to return receives a COVID-19 vaccination. In a joint press release with the UC system, CSU Chancellor Joseph I. Castro said, Together, the CSU and UC enroll and employ more than 1 million students and employees across 33 major university campuses. So this is the most comprehensive and consequential university plan for COVID-19 vaccines in the country. Consistent with previous CSU announcements related to the university's response to the pandemic, we are sharing this information now to give students, their families, and our employees ample time to make plans to be vaccinated prior to the start of the fall term. Senior Director of Strategic Communications and Public Affairs Mike Eulenkamp reiterated Chancellor Castro's reasoning for the timing of the announcement. One of the reasons to announce this um, when we did was to give as much notice to uh, students and their families and employees that there is the potential to have such a requirement. Mm -hmm. The requirement is contingent upon the FDA approval. Eulenkamp then went on to explain why the CSU and UC systems announced the vaccine requirement jointly. The reason to, to announce it jointly is really so that uh, people aren't confused about p potential requirements. So the vaccine requirements are likely going to be the same. So it eliminates confusion. Two members of the CSUN community who support the vaccine requirement are future fall semester transfer students, Connor All and Robbie Riggs both of which are fully vaccinated. Business student Connor All supports a vaccine requirement because he thinks it'll help a lot of people to feel safer on campus. Well, I know personally for myself, I'd feel a lot safer if I knew um, that people in the class with me were vaccinated. But honestly, for me personally, I just want to be able to return to the college campus and be able to get the real college experience, even if we still have to wear masks. Riggs, who is also a business student, is in favor of the COVID-19 vaccine requirement but is also okay with the university systems exempting certain people so that they don't feel pressured into receiving the vaccine. Um, I think it's a good way to push people to get the vaccine. I think it's important that people get vaccinated, but um, if it is against religion, which they do have the exception rule on, I think it is uh, good that they don't force people for situations like that. The COVID vaccine requirement would allow students, faculty, or staff to apply for exemption only if it is on the basis of medical or religious reasoning. Of course, this is all dependent upon the FDA formally approving one of the vaccines in order for the CSUs and UCs to be able to require the COVID vaccine. As of right now, the Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson are only being administered under emergency use authorization. Reporting live from Northridge, I'm Brandon Zamora.